What's up guys, I wanted to do a short video on officer pairings on units. And I know that there's been a ton of videos out there on this, but the question is, does the order of your officers and the leader or the aid position matter on your units? And the answer is yes, but probably not for the reasons that you think. So let's break this down into three main reasons why this is actually important. The first one is the leader position on an officer gives a firepower and HP buff to your units based on the level of that officer. And it's amazing how many players still don't actually know this. But the reason you want to invest in specific officers all the way to level 60 and throw them in the leader position is because they will give at level 60 a 30% firepower buff and a 30% HP buff. The secondary position does not have that effect. So if you're actually using officer experience books on your secondary officers, you're actually wasting those experience books. The second reason is the language in the game or the design of the game. A lot of people have been led to believe that the position of your officers matters in terms of how their skills fire. And an example of that is Spanner as language. If leading a tank or helicopter troop increases damage reduced by 10% for eight seconds and recovers additional HP. Antonita, who a lot of people say her skills work in the secondary position, and a lot of people run her that way, as that similar text, increases skill damage by 25% when leading an artillery troop. Now, our current theory in our alliance is that this actually, the problem stems from the fact that it's the, it's a Chinese game and the translation to English maybe has some different meaning. We've done a lot of testing and it seems to be that there's no discernible difference between having officers like Guardian of Truth, Antonina, um, Spanner, in either the lead or secondary positions, their skills seem to work in either case. Um, we can show battle report after battle report of say, Guardian of Truth, the damage output's the same. Antonina, the damage output's the same. Now, there's one officer uh, that I'm using as an example, Tiposphere, who actually does have a leader specific trait, but his language on his skills different reduces prep time of their troops skills by 1.5 seconds when serving as its leader. And that is an actual example. You can test tip of spear and actually see the difference. So the third reason is one that actually took me a long time to catch on to is it's less about the language of their skills and more about the order that the skills fire in. So the order that you have your officers on the unit is the order that the officer skills are going to trigger. Now, the way the game is designed is there's an eight second trigger. So if I have my main battle tank here and I have Thorn and Steel, and this may be a little hard to show, so we might actually show it with a rocket launcher. The skill prep time is going to run in eight seconds, and then it's going to, at the nine second mark, actually fire her skill and it's going to get the shield. And then at the 10 second mark, Steel's shield is going to fire in that order. So we've got that first blue and then the second blue, you just saw those numbers there. The first number was Thorn's shield and the second number was Steel's. Okay, and you just saw that again. And so the cool effect with those two officers is that they will actually add back HP to the shield health, uh, which is really cool. But that is the significance of the order. So like Thorn, um, her skill actually grants additional damage. And so having that fire first, uh, you get that damage sooner whereas steel skill is simply just the shield. Now, if we show the rocket launcher troop, I actually have Berserker Bear first and Antonina second. So we'll go ahead and set that in auto attack. And you're gonna see the same thing. So we're gonna have an eight second prep time. Let that run. Skill's gonna fire and it's gonna be Berserker Bear's skill that fires first. So actually we'll just do that on this troop here, okay? So there's Berserker Bills, you saw the animation. And then if we fire at this, we'll actually see Antonina's skill fire a second. There you go. That is the significance of the order of the officers on your troop. And so this actually has some interesting results that you can play with. And a good example is actually with Death Outer. So let's actually look at Death Outer's skill. Okay. So deals damage to enemy troop damage coefficient 1050 and inflicts sundered armor, reducing target's damage resist by 10% 10, 10 for four seconds. So why is that significant? So if you actually put him in the leader slot, again, eight second prep time, 
nine second firing time. It's going to inflict that sundered armor. And so theoretically, the second officer where their skill fires at the 10 second mark is going to be able to take advantage of that sundered armor and do more damage to the unit. Whereas if he was in the secondary position, um, that four second window is going to go by very quickly, but you've already lost, like, let's say Percy on my unit. where her skill fires first. And she, of course, is going to do the uh, damage coefficient 1200, increasing the firepower of all your troops. But when her skill fires at nine seconds and then death at her at the 10 second mark, she cannot take advantage of that Sundered Armor. So that is our current running theory. We've done lots of testing, no observable differences between the order of officers on most of them, except in the case of Tip of Spear. And I think there actually is one other officer or two other officers since the 6.10 patch. Um, I think it was, uh, let's see here. I think it was Eye of Providence. So when leading an artillery troop, so that's not different. That's not different. Uh, let's see, maybe it was actually Argent Flame. So there we go if serving as troop leader, which is very different than saying if leading an artillery troop. And so the language, again, our theory is just from the translations that whether leader or aid, both positions are leading the troop um, versus these couple officers where they actually are, uh, the language is actually if serving as the leader, which is very different. And actually in this case, you can see if serving as leader increases skill damage of his aid. So that is very, very specific text versus the others. So drop a comment below. Let me know what you think, but just something we tested and played around with and observed. But the ordering of the firing of your officer skills is by far the most significant thing we've caught on to. And it definitely can produce some very interesting results that you can play around with. Guys, thank you for watching the video. We'll see you next time.